Welcome all. My name is Ruk Rogel. I am a cloud specialist, solution sales specialist for data and AI at Microsoft. Uh, I'm coming from Slovenia, from Ljubljana, but I'm always very, very glad to be, to be in uh, Zagreb, in Croatia. Uh, so in the past, till this September, I was covering only Balkan and Adriatic, SMC. Uh, so that means uh, corporate uh, accounts and also startups. Um, nowadays, from September on, on I am covering all uh, CE region. Uh, but why I'm always glad to come back to Croatia, because if I'm totally honest, um, with my plans, with my quota, uh, Croatia always, uh, Croatian accounts always help me to achieve a quota. That's why, that's why I really, really like to, to work with uh, Croatian accounts. Um, so the topic of today's presentation is how we see data and AI nowadays at Microsoft and how do we see future, what data and AI mean, uh, means for us. Uh, I will touch a bit about transformation of Microsoft, how Microsoft transformed in the last five to ten years. Then I will touch our relationship with our competitors, which we don't perceive as competitor anymore, but we perceive as partners. Uh, then I will touch a bit about open source technologies on Microsoft. Um, also, uh, so what is our partner ecosystem? And what's next? What's next for you? How can Microsoft support you? How can Microsoft support your customers? Uh, if you will have any question in any time, please just shoot, ask, or you can ask me also after the presentation. So, um, as we are all aware, data is our strategy uh, asset, strategic asset. Uh, so, in the last years, everyone is talking about digital transformation. Literally everyone, but there are not a lot of people that are aware that the foundation for any digital transformation is data. Uh, I mean, because usually when we start speaking with our customer, one of the main topics when we start speaking with business stakeholders, with CIOs is, oh, we are interested in digital transformation. Our business demands from us digital transformation. But then we ask them, okay, but where is your data? I mean, what will be the foundation for this digital transformation, then too often we lose them. So, so this is, you know, this is really um, the foundation for everything. And this is also how we see it. If we learned something in the last three years, it was the fact that there is no company that is immune to, 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 to change, you know. So that's why the data is really, really important. Uh, maybe, as, as mentioned uh, before I continue, something about how Microsoft also changed. Ten, five years ago, uh, Microsoft was selling mainly uh, licenses. So either licenses for Office or for Windows. Nowadays, you won't see Microsoft representative selling uh, licenses. No, we, our main vision and our expectations from our uh, from our leaders are to, to enable our customers to achieve more with our products. So our first, first goal with every customer is to understand their business. So what they are doing and what they are trying to achieve. And after that, we see what are our services that can help them deliver that. So our main focus to be, to be, to be plastic is to sell our, our services in our three clouds. I will speak about that later. But this is really something that is driving us. And here I also, um, I will also come to, to the next uh, point about the data. So here we can see the few very, very important data that we need to understand to, to get answers from our customers about the data. Uh, let me just give you some, one, just, just one statistic that, that I find really interesting. 
there is a prediction that by year 2025, that's less than three years from now, there will be 175 zettabytes of data on the world. Uh, I know that this is, I mean, I cannot imagine how much data it is, but if, let, let put this into the perspective. So if we try to put 175 zettabytes of data onto Blu-ray discs, and if we stack them in a stack, we can go to moon and, and back 23 times. So we agree most probably then that the data is really important. But what is even more important is to have answers on all this question, to be aware what is happening with our data, who has access to the data, and what will we do with our data. It's also very important not to have data silos, which is happening too often in the environments all over the, all over the world. Uh, so uh, it's not a question whether there is specific tool for specific uh, task or expectation from the data. What we face very often is that data engineers, data scientists, business analysts are struggling with managing all the different data services that they are using, from ETL tools, databases, data warehouse, data lake, data governance tool, different, different, different vendors, different products, and this is a problem. And then uh, data engineers, data scientists, they are losing their time with managing, with backup, with updating different, different uh, products while, while it could be everything under one umbrella. That's why Microsoft's vision for data and AI is Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform, where we are combining all different parts of, of data nowadays, so from SQL Server as our main, but not the only, database provider, uh, Cosmos DB, Synapse Analytics, Power BI, Microsoft uh, Purview, uh, and Azure AI. Since I don't have too much time today, I won't go into the details about each of the product, but the idea is that you get everything through one platform. And here, this is also very important message that I would like to pass to you today is that Microsoft is not competing with, with our partners, with a lot of companies that are here today. Our goal is not, and it won't be, to offer end product based on AI to the end customer. So if I take, for example, I don't know, speech-to-text solution or computer vision solution, we will not be the one that will offer the product on uh, Play Store or to, to offer the product to the end customer. Our idea is, and our goal is, to find a partner that will build, that will have uh, its own intellectual property on top of, of our platform. So our idea is to offer you our services, our Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform, or just part of it, and built on top of, uh, of it. Because we understand that you have the knowledge, we are just providing you the platform that is scalable and that you pay only as much as you need uh, in order to give what your customers are uh, expecting. Uh, Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform is also very, very well uh, integrated and combined with other Microsoft Clouds because Microsoft Cloud is not only one, there are three besides Azure, which is um, inf infrastructure, infrastructure part of cloud. We also have Dynamics 365, which is cloud for business applications, and uh, Modern Workplace, which is a collaboration tool. So most probably you know uh, uh, Office 365 and Teams. Um, but to go maybe back to our, to our, um, our um, partnership, how we collabor collaborate with our partners, I will also, during the presentation, I will give you a few examples, few reference cases that we did in the 
last one or two years. So let me first share the, 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 the reference case that we did with NILT. I don't know if you're familiar, NILT is one of the biggest distributors in the region. They have headquarters in Belgrade, but they operate also in Romania, even Africa. They are similar to what Orbico is in Croatia. So two years ago, they changed their management. Uh, they got like younger management and one of the first expectation from the new management was, okay, we would like to understand where we are going to predict how, for example, COVID will affect our business. We would like to have advanced AI uh, analytic scenarios that will help our business, that will help us to be better than our competition. So they started looking for data warehouse and advanced analytic solution. We were part of the, the, the proce process. Um, <clears throat> but soon they also shared with us that when it comes to advanced AI scenarios, uh, they have very good experience because the, the, the business stakeholders came from financial industry. And we all know that SAS, SAS is the leader, especially in the financial industry when it comes to advanced AI. So we realize that it's hard to compete with them. That's why we combine our, let's say, out of the box solution for, for analytics, Synapse combined with, uh, with SAS. So nowadays, NILT is using SAS VIA running on our Azure cloud for the three advanced AI scenario, so to, to predict next best offer for promo ROI and to understand, to understand, um, to give the best way for their um, um, distributors on the terrain uh, to, to, to visit as much customers as possible, while other advanced analytics and business models are in, on our Synapse and, uh, and Azure. Here are some other examples uh, for example, Snowflake. Snowflake is treating us as our competitor while we treat Snowflake as our partner since Snowflake is also running on, on, on Azure. But let me give you a few, uh, just four other examples that, that are coming from Croatia. They're for sure not the only one. For sure I missed some others, but those are the ones that, that were like my first association First one is this key point. Small, I mean, from, from Microsoft perspective, small company from Croatia that is offering um, governance of Office 365. Uh, so they, they partner with us. They, they certified their solution, which is, by the way, uh, free of charge. So if you have a solution, uh, you can certify it with Microsoft free of charge. You, then it will be published on our so-called uh, app source portal. And tomorrow, anyone that will put, for example, um, governance of Office 365 will get syskit point as a result. It can enable it almost enable, um, instantly. It will use our, um, our um, infrastructure. And on top of that, of course, your services will be used. Um, this is really important because it's not just an app source, but, but um, the, the whole sales cycle of Microsoft, and you will agree with me that we have really huge network of, of sales people, will offer your solution because also sellers at Microsoft are compensated with the, with the, with the, um, with selling of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the product. So data privacy managers for from Puslona Intelligencia. Infobip, Infobip, uh, yesterday I typed info, uh, Infobip in the, our app source that there is like all the results were not, it was not able to put them on one page. So Infobip, we, we are helping Infobip to sell their products all over the, the world. So you can perceive uh, Microsoft app source portal as additional or the only channel of sales for your product. So for example, we have, I don't know, um, company Spitza from Slovenia. They are, I mean, they are now, I think 80% of their sales go through, 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 through our app source portal. So, so this is for sure very, very, very good um, 
additional channel, channel of sales and prom promotion of your product. I will come back to you uh, later. Uh, but if I go now back to, 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 to our portfolio of services, first, there, there were three parts. So first one is for sure, sure operational database. So where do we put our data? Here we can see just six uh, examples of different databases. As you can see here, SQL is only one of six databases. We have several different open source database solutions running on Azure, Cosmos DB, Azure Cache for Redis, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, those are all uh, database solutions running on Azure uh, primarily. So not, not as uh, like, it, they're running as in past models. So not as virtual machine and database running on top of it, but running in a platform as a service uh, mode. Uh, then, when it comes to databases, uh, still a lot of our customers are using SQL. And here on this slide, I, I, will, I have just one fact. Microsoft is SQL company, and when it comes to running the SQL, SQL's, SQL Server will run the best on Azure. The period, that's for sure. And not only that, but it will be also uh, for sure the cheapest option for you. There is a comparison of running uh, Azure on, uh, uh, sorry, running SQL on Azure compared to AWS. Maybe the difference will not be that significant, but for sure uh, SQL running on Azure will be the cheapest option and the most performance. So th that's it. But, but maybe, um, uh, okay, I, I will, I will uh, show one additional uh, slide later. When it comes to analytics, analytics in general, I already mentioned Synapse. So Synapse is our answer, is our vision to analytics uh, in the future. So two years ago, we launched it. Uh, it became general available. So um, what we did, we took um, our SQL data warehouse from on-prem, combined it uh, with big, big data analytics, and now we have this portfolio of different services in one box. So from ETL, so uh, Data Factory, Synapse Pipeline, we are, we are, we are supporting 80 different uh, data sources out of the box. Then, mm, then ingesting the data, storing the data, and at the end and, uh, doing the analysis of the data and visualizing it in the, in the uh, Power BI. So, so when it comes to analytics, Synapse is an answer to that. And the, let, let's say the biggest, not, not only the biggest, but the, the advanced companies also in Croatia and in the region are already using Synapse. The beauty of it is that you don't need any capex. You don't need to invest anything in front. You just need it as much as possible. So for example, if you are running um, complex uh, analysis for, I don't know, Black Friday, at the end of the month, you can scale up just for this end of the month, but for the remaining 30 days, you will pay just the minimum, the minimum amount. So this is for sure one of the um, very, very good um, examples also how to save money. Uh, machine learning, we have several products for machine learning. So for total beginners, uh, that are just first time working with different uh, prediction models to, to Spark and Databricks. So here I, I won't lose too much uh, of your time. Um, but data governance. So I mentioned several times the importance of, of the data. So if I am not the CIO, but if I'm uh, not the CIO, but CEO, so the owner of chief executive officer of the modern company, for me, the importance of the data is the most important fact. So what is happening with my data? So what my data is, so how often is it changing? Who has access to it? So this is something um, that Microsoft didn't uh, have answered to like two years ago. There was, I don't know, 
some competitors, not a lot of them, Informatica, for example, being one of them. But one year ago, we also launched Microsoft PureView, which is answer for all the, um, so for data catalog, data lineage, all uh, the data governance related topics um, uh, in the Azure. Uh, in general, so in the Azure and also on-prem. So this is the graph that I was referring to and it's, it's very interesting to me. So on the, 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 the above green line is showing the SQL server consumption in Azure. So as we can see here, it's not growing, it's even decreasing. But what is very interesting for me, it is that Maria DB, uh, DB so the, the green line, and PostgreSQL, orange, orange line, uh, are growing in Azure. So our customers, when it comes to databases, they are using open source databases more and more. And not only open source databases, but of course, uh, integration with DevOps, GitHub, uh, all, all different kinds of Ubuntu and other Linux distributions. So this is something that we are supporting and we are aware of. Uh, now I come to some public references. So for example, majority of you uh, uh, most probably um, know ASOS. ASOS is one of the uh, leaders in um, fashion retail, uh, retail. They're selling their clothes online. So they're using Azure Cosmos DB to, to deliver the best experience for the, for the end customer. Not SQL, but all, uh, uh, Co Co Cosmos DB. So we are also suggesting other databases, not, not only SQL. When it comes to connect, connected smart products, here we, we listed uh, Mercedes. It's not only Mercedes, it is Porsche, uh, Renault, Nissan, even, even Rimac uh, that are using uh, our, our services, our sensors, uh, connected vehicle platform, so those are all, all, all our references that, 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 um, that found the, the, the interest in, the, in this whole ecosystem that Microsoft is offering. Fraud detection, especially interesting for financial and um, uh, insurance companies. Then service and support bot. Uh, here I have to mention speech to text, text to speech, our cognitive services. So one example from Slovenia, Slovenia National uh, TV and Radio Broadcaster. Nowadays they are using uh, our speech-to-text services, uh, sorry, text-to-speech for converting all written articles on their web page uh, in the audio format. So now if you go to their web page for each article, you can also listen to it uh, primarily in Slovenian language but also in, in any other language, and also vice versa. So for, for, not for, for now, not for all, but for some TV shows that are produced in Slovenia, for Slovenian language uh, TV shows, there is automatic transcribing of, of so subtitling of the, the show. So the importance is not that this is uh, possible. Of course it was possible for English, Spanish, and some other languages few years ago, but nowadays we are also supporting uh, Croatian language, Slovenian language, Serbian language. So this is something that's impor it's important to be, to be aware of. On the other hand, you can still cannot use iPhone in, I I'm not sure for Croatian language, but for Slovenia we cannot use it. Um, okay, and here, um, since I'm running out of time, what next? So how can you start? How can we support you? I will, I will mention just three programs, but we have several, several uh, programs available for, for you, you as partner or customer. First one, I have to mention solution assessment. So most probably you currently have kind of situation, either infrastructure or product. Uh, we, we offer you either infrastructure uh, assessment, database assessment, or application assessment. It will be free of charge for you. We will, we will deliver it, and as a result, you will see what you're currently using, the list of all services, the architecture, and how would that application or system look like in Azure, what will be the costs. So this is first thing. 
The second thing, most probably the most interesting, is so-called ETSIF. That, that means end customer investment funds. So if you have a project or your customer is having a project for the next year, let's say that, I don't know, you, you're going for a computer vision project, uh, we are willing to invest in that project up to 20%. So that means if you, together with your partner, uh, predict that there will be consumption, potential, pot uh, hypothetical potential uh, consumption of 50K in the next year, we are willing to invest in you up to 10K of dollars. Um, and the last one is the fast track. So once you decide to go into project with us, with our services, we offer you support from our fast track team. That means that that's the team of architects and engineers that are specialized in the particular area. So if we are talking about computer vision, you will get, you will get engineers uh, that will work with you on that project free of charge. There are only two requirements. First one is that they, they work remotely, what we realize that, that it's not a problem, and that they don't touch your production. So they will not click instead of you, but they will help you with the architecture, and also they will help, to help you to troubleshoot things, but they will not touch your production. Uh, and last but not least, it's Microsoft for startup strategy. When I started working at Microsoft, I heard that our corporation is offering more than, also more than 100K as an investment for startups. I was, sure, I was sure, yeah, 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 this is something for United States. But then two years ago, me and my colleagues, we, we, we nominated Croatian startup and we got more than 100, it was around 120K of investment into Croatian startup. So at that point, because I really have to, to, to stop, I'm really encouraging you that if you have an interesting project or your customer is having interesting project, contact us, let's speak, let's see how can we support, how can we invest in you. And we have really a lot of references in Croatia um, that can show us that, that, that this is possible. Uh, so at that point, I have to stop, um, but I'm really willing to, to answer any question, if there is any.